and you guys will see how quickly the stacks go up for the burst, right? You'll see, like, around Venti's body right here. Wait. Wait a second. Did it just not work? What is up guys and we are back with another video so in this video if you guys saw my last video you saw the suffering that I went through we're gonna be testing out this weapon we're gonna see how good it actually is if it's any good if you can bear to actually read this entire book that they wrote for the effect so let me just summarize this real quick what it does so basically you get a flat 60 elemental mastery increase and then every time your E ability or your Q ability does damage you're gonna get a stack right and even if Venti is not on the field, you're still going to get a stack if your E or Q does damage. So that means if Venti's burst is still doing damage while he's not on the field, which most of the time he's not, um, you're still going to be getting stacks. So this weapon is really meant for Venti. Even someone like Fischl can use it because her Oz stays on the field even when she's not there. So once you get four stacks, they're all consumed and everyone in your party gets 100 elemental mastery and 20% attack increase. And then that effect is going to last for 12 seconds and it's going to be a 20 second cooldown. So if you guys do the math, that means there's going to be eight seconds where you're not going to have the effect up and you're basically just, it's not doing anything because you're not getting any stacks or anything. But we're going to see how good it actually is. If it's actually worth getting, in my opinion, it's not worth getting. I haven't even tested it. I'm just being petty because the weapon banner is the biggest scam in the world. Besides this point, maybe you got lucky, maybe you just tossed a roll or two in there and you got blessed by the RNG gods. In that case, I'll be nice and I'll test it for you. So I'm going to be comparing it to basically like two or three weapons, right? I'm not really going to be comparing to weapons Venti would never use, right? Such as the Rust or the Ammo Spo. Uh, these aren't weapons he'll ever use. I'm basically just going to be comparing it to the Stringless, which is by far his best weapon right now. I'll also compare it to the Skyward Harp because I know some people like to go more for a damage-oriented Venti. We'll just see how that performs. And also the Favonius Warbow, because I know you get this for free, and it's a pretty good weapon, and it also has energy recharge. So we'll see how it compares to the LG of the end. So let me go ahead and show you my stats with this weapon equipped. So I have 1800 attack, almost 300 elemental mastery, and I have 50% crit rate and 106% crit damage. And also almost 200% energy recharge. And one thing you'll notice about Venti is you don't have to go too crazy into his stats. Honestly, he just needs the four-piece viridescent set. So the things we're going to be looking at are going to be his E ability, his E ability with Swirl. Since this weapon has a passive, we'll look at it at base value and then with the passive active. So let's go ahead and just look at the regular E. So 12k. Okay, and you guys can see right around Venti, there's like this floating rune. And that's basically the sigil. And you need four of those and he'll get his attack boost. And you guys will also see, if I switch to Bennett, it doesn't have the sigil, which is weird. But if I switch back to Venti, you guys can see it. That's kind of weird how that works. You would think that it floats with the character that's active. But let me read this again. Yeah, I don't I don't get why they can't just show how many sigils you have on the active character. It has to be whoever has the bow, which isn't the best because you won't know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and actually use this food right here. Uh, it's basically going to give me a 20% crit rate boost, and that's it. And the reason I'm using this is so my testing is easier for me and I don't have to keep uh, going back and forth. I mean, the energy recharge is really nice because it takes me like three of the E abilities to get my burst up, which is pretty good. Okay, so with the stacks, I hit like 1570. So let's go ahead and look at the swirl damage now. Yeah, I don't think you can crit, so it's 1802. Okay, so 2002 with the passive active. So not a huge increase, it's only a 200 damage increase. But obviously when you're using his burst, it's going to matter a lot more. Because his burst hits so many times that it really ramps up. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to the stringless. Okay, so with the stringless, my attack is 200 less. My elemental mastery is at 386. So keep in mind, with the LG of the end, when the passive is up, which is basically like almost all the time, uh, my elemental mastery is going to be higher than the stringless, which is pretty cool because stringless is supposed to give higher elemental mastery because it's a substat. But what makes LG of the end so good is it gives like the highest energy recharge, and with its passive up, it gives the highest elemental mastery. But the thing that makes stringless really good 
is it increases elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 48%. Again, mine is at refinement 5, so just keep that in mind. So we're comparing a refinement 5 weapon to a refinement 1 weapon. So I think before we were hitting like 12k to 16k with our E ability. And I know this isn't the best place to see how fast you'll get your energy. So after we test all the weapons, we'll go into the abyss and look at that. Okay, let's look at the E. So 14k and then a 1900 swirl. Um, the LG of the end is actually better at refinement 1, which is kind of crazy to think about. Because when the LG of the end's passive is up, it's doing more on the E ability and it's doing more on the swirl. Uh, which is pretty, pretty crazy considering this is a refinement 5 string list and that's a refinement 1 5 star. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised. I thought the string list would do a lot more damage. And keep in mind, the LG of the end is providing a lot more energy to recharge. So let's go ahead and switch to the Favonius Warbow. And this one is also at refinement 5. And obviously we know this one's not going to do as much damage. But maybe we can get an idea of how much energy we get back. So 10k and basically almost filled up my burst. One more E and it would probably be filled up. So yeah, even though it does a lot less damage, the energy recharge is still pretty good. Okay, so the last one I'm going to be testing is actually the Skyward Harp right here. So this one is more for a DPS build that people use. I just want to see how it performs because it increases my crit damage and it gives me crit rate. My stats are at 1900 attack, 89% crit rate, and 126% crit damage. And again, keep in mind my crit rate is so high because I have that food equipped. Really, it's 69% crit rate, which is still pretty good, right? Because we do lose a lot of that elemental mastery, right? Now we're at 235 compared to before, but we were at closer to 400. And that's only giving us a 95% swirl damage bonus compared to a 150%. Let's test this E ability. So 14k and then 1670. So as you guys can see, the swirl damage is a little less, but the Refinement 1 Skyward Harp is doing as much damage as the Stringless. But it's still less than the LG of the end, which was at 15k. But keep in mind that the Skyward Harp, because it provides crit rate, it's a lot more consistent. But in terms of just comparing those weapons so far, I think hands down, like I don't even think it's it's up to debate that the LG of the end is the best weapon for him. Like because it's it does everything for him, right? It has the second highest energy recharge behind the Favonius Warbow, only by 5%. It gives the highest elemental mastery when its passive is up, even higher than the Stringless, right? And it has a pretty decent base attack at 532. And not only that, it provides support for your team. Your whole team gets a 20% attack boost and elemental mastery. And you guys will see how quickly the stacks go up for the burst, right? You'll see like around Venti's body right here. Wait. Wait a second. Did it just not work? I can't even tell. Maybe I just missed it, but I don't think that uh, actually did damage. What was that? Okay, let me, let me try again. Let me leave and try again. Maybe I just am blind, but I did not see the sigils popping up. So let me look at it again. Yeah, there's no sigils. What? That's so weird. I thought it worked for the burst too. Am I reading the weapon wrong? Do I just not know how the weapon works? I mean, yeah, it should work, right? Like the burst should just give me stacks. So if I use my E ability right here, I should get a sigil. But for some reason, I'm not getting one. Okay, so there's one right here, but I don't know why initially I just don't get one. Okay, just in case, I'm going to switch this weapon to Fischl and see if the same thing is happening. Fischl's E ability right here should generate me. So it works with Fischl. You see, I immediately get the stacks. But it doesn't work with Venti, even though it's his weapon. So it seems like for Fischl it works. I'm going to look at it one more time, see if it works. Because as soon as I drop her E, I start getting stacks. Or not. What? So you're, what you're telling me is I wasted all my Primo gems pulling for this dumb weapon. I got five weapons before I got this one. Just for it not to work. Oh my... The suffering continues. What is this? I better get a 50,000 Primo Gem refund because what the heck? It doesn't even work in the Abyss most of the time. I don't even get my stacks 
and I don't know what that is. Maybe I'm like looking at it wrong. Maybe you guys see something that I don't, but I tried it with Fischl and Venti, and it just doesn't work at the start. It just, I'm not getting any stacks for like the first 20 seconds. This is your warning to never pull for this weapon. Don't fall for it. Even though it's really, really good, it is the best weapon for him. It's, it's just not worth it, guys. It's definitely not worth it. Heed my warning, please. Don't, don't end up like me. Don't end up regretting everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and see ya.